former treasury cabinet secretary yukur yatani has come out saying that he has sufficient evidence how gashagwa demanded over 1.5 billion immediately after he assumed the public office in a new twist of what it now seems like a crumbling house of cards yatani said that high government officials like deputy president rigadi gashagwa mounted pressure on the treasury to release funds to their Dockets. And I quote, Nyakango couldn't keep pace with Uhuru regime. She, could, she should reveal to the public how many times I pressured her because she couldn't keep up with the pressure, he said. End quote. Further, Nyakango made the claims on Tuesday when she appeared before the National Assembly Public Petitions Committee. She presented before the committee copies of what she claimed were WhatsApp conversations between her and former CS, which culminated in her approving the release of 15 billion in a record of 26 minutes. In the alleged conversation, Nyakango approved the release of 15 of 1 billion to the office of the president and 10 billion to the infrastructure ministry for some security project that was on the verge of being abandoned by the contractor. She said she was aware that the approvals were irregular but she was made to give the green light under pressure but in response yatani said the claims depicted him as a cabinet secretary whose role at the treasury was designed to facilitate the theft of public funds so the questions that kenyans are asking themselves who's telling the truth <laughs>